Well, commiserations today, Anthony. You must be disappointed, really, particularly having had two decent wins back to back. Yeah, we were today. Um, felt like they were probably more clinical than us, scoring three goals. We had a couple of chances in the first half, but it was a quite a tight game in the first half. But feel like we sort of um, sort of gave them little chances. To be fair, with two of their goals, so that was disappointing from our point of view. Um, to get back in the game at 2-1, I thought we were in the ascendancy second half, but then to concede so quickly, I'm not sure what the time was on that when we did concede the third goal, but then that made it very difficult for us. I thought at 2-1 we were right back in it, they'd started to drop off a bit. But um, yeah, we were, listen, they, they, I think they're probably overall in both boxes, they were definitely better than us. And you weren't really at your fluent best today, but certainly, even though you were 1-0 down at half-time, you were still well in the game, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, we hit the post in the first half. Um, we had some good passages of play without being um, consistent with them. I think for away from home, I've said before, we, we were probably the similar to Macclesfield, as in we played some good stuff at times, but were, were under pressure at other times, which you expect being away from home. But yeah, I think we need to just get those... Um, Probably, probably the consistent bits of clearances and when to play and when not to play and making sure we look after the ball better, especially away from home to limit the chances from the, the away team. I thought that Josh Staunton and Jordan Winter did really well today. And if they're playing well, but then we're still conceding three goals, it means in other areas of the pitch we need to tighten up a little bit. Um, I think we could definitely do, do more by creating a little bit more. We got into some good areas, but didn't probably create enough as what we would have liked with the attacking players we've got on the pitch. Yeah, I was going to say, Innie was really stuck of the service today wasn't yeah. he I can't really remember us getting too many yeah. decent crosses into the box for him to feed yeah, off well, I thought that Joe and J Joe Ward and Jason Banton got into good areas but were, but didn't maybe just have that final ball and, and listen they're dangerous players and, and it was good to see Joe score and Jason still obviously getting back to full fitness so and, and on other days I think they'll, they'll take more of those chances but I thought we still were in the game at, at at two 0 and then got back into it at two one and yeah, I would like to have us to have pushed on, but the third goal really killed us a little bit and, and it was a game over from there. I mean, you're a young team; it's a new team. Presumably, this is all part of the learning process, particularly when it comes to away games. Yeah, of course. I mean, the average age there, I think, was 21, 22, which means we are a young team. However, we've got good experience of players in the team who have played at this level, played in the level above, and and also have experience of playing yeah in in this non-league environment. So there's no excuses from us in terms of the age, but yeah, we're, we're definitely Definitely learning, that's for sure. We, we've come off the back of two good results. Um, we've always, I think, shown good character and reacted well when we have had setbacks. And, and, and we'll be looking to put that right on Tuesday like we have done when we've gone back at home. We've got a good home record, three out of four wins. So we'll be looking to um, put that right on Tuesday for sure. And you mentioned Jordan Winter coming in today. Yep. And he acquitted himself well, didn't he, at centre-back? You know he was what, up yeah. against, you know, Piggott, who we yeah. know is a handful. Yep. He did well. Yeah, I thought he did do well. He limited them to chances. thought him and Josh looked fairly solid in there. Um, I couldn't have asked any more of those two. And I think that those two gave maximum effort. And so did the whole team, really. Um, I thought that we still kept going until the end. We didn't drop our heads at, at 2-1. Or, or even 3-1 and yeah there's a lot of character and fight and spirit in the team which we saw last week and listen it didn't go for us today but we'll be positive and ready to go for Tuesday Can I just ask you what the injury update is regarding Richard Orlu Joey sure, yeah. Jones and Fabio Yeah Fabio did a little bit of running today so hopefully he'll be back soon he needs a bit of training first he hasn't come into full training yet um, Joey's still got the calf injury so hopefully not too far away and Richard isn't as long as we thought but we want to make sure both of them are right before they come back in so hopefully we'll have them back in soon Yeah. And next up on Tuesday a solid home moors probably possibly a little bit like the talkie game in that you <laughs> might consider yourself to be favourites but how do you view it yeah I mean it, listen we, we've said this before when we've been on the end of victories that have climbed us up the table and obviously I haven't seen the table today I try and stay away from it at the moment because one or two wins and you go straight up one or two losses you back down it, it is true I know it's a, and the old saying but there are no easy games in this, this league but we'll go and be positive just like we were in the talkie game and look to get back to winning ways on Tuesday lovely thank you very much for your time thank you